when you arrive in a new place like South Africa, I think one of the best parts is you open the app and it's the same app that you use wherever you are in the world. You can see who's coming to get you, what car is coming, the license plate. So the technology creates those, those built-in safety features. Definitely puts the power in the hands of the consumer to say, I'm gonna be as safe as I can and I'm gonna be able to check all of these things. Um, before I get in the car with anyone. Our first market was in, in, in Johannesburg um, and then Cape Town and Durban. And our first market outside of South Africa was Lagos in 2014. In many of the cities that we move into, there isn't an existing public transportation network. In many cases for the first time, there's this reliable way to get around. It's the same story across Africa. Got systems, roads, housing, that were designed for you know, a certain number of people, quite frankly, and those numbers are multiplying you know, like never before, rapidly. And the need to be extremely um, uh, efficient about that resource allocation is higher than before. Probably even more, there's even more pressure on African cities than there is in, on Western cities that you know, are not growing at this quickly in terms of population. There's a billion cars in the world 95% of the time they sit idle. People in cities like Sydney and, and New York are spending two weeks of their lives sitting in traffic. That's absurd. How do you convert every car on the road into part of a grid system, part of a transport system, right? Instead of having cars just with one person or two people. With the network that we can create and products like Uber Pool, where we where we promote ride sharing, and actually two people that would take two different cars now getting in one car, I think there's a massive opportunity to bring that down. And then all the knock-on effects. Now imagine if you're not spending hours and hours and hours sitting in traffic, what could you be doing? Imagine if there aren't all those cars on the road that need to be parked somewhere, what could we do with that space? Um, and I think that is the, that's the really exciting stuff. We've seen what's possible and so we're really committed to um, our, you know, expanding on the continent and, and uh, you know, the jobs and uh, all of the things that, that brings with it. So, so very exciting times for Uber in Africa.